Um, as we are uh, proceeding in the, our last uh, session, uh, we have uh, the closing remarks uh, of uh, the day that uh, we will uh, hear from uh, my colleagues, uh, Dr. Maria Hoppe, uh, who is a senior researcher in Zurich University of Applied Science and had a key role in MedPEX project in uh, 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 land use and accessibility issue. And uh, Mr. John Porter, the director of interaction uh, research, uh, who had a major uh, role in uh, business uh, models and business plan and uh, evaluation of a uh, MedPEC project. I give uh, the floor to Maria first. So don't worry, it's a one slide presentation only. Um, I tried to uh, somehow summarize, could... Uh, no, <laughs> no, the, the next one. Yeah, it's, it's the right presentation, but wrong slide, yeah. Okay, so what I tried uh, is to somehow summarize and generalize the findings of today as I um, try to integrate the results of MedPEX project uh, as well as the, the input from the speakers we heard today. And even uh, we had uh, some, some input from very different perspectives. Um, there were some key issues I could uh, somehow identify. Of course, uh, you might... Uh, have seen or heard others, but this is what I um, figured out as, um, there's an error message on my slide. Um, so uh, this is what, what, at least what I would uh, take away in a nutshell from, from today's discussion. And of course, this is only a starting base to go further. So um, I guess one thing we most would agree, not only after this day, is that mobility um, is a right and mobility is providing options uh, to people and this is what it makes important not only to have these kind of sessions but uh, to put uh, these, um, these findings we have and, and this uh, attitude we have towards mobility into practice and uh, it's not a luxury or kind of luxury good to providing mobility for everybody. And as we understood, not only today, but already before, hopefully, is uh, that everybody um, could be in a situation of uh, being blocked from using mobility. So mobility has to be treated as a right and as um, included uh, or a way to include people in society. Um, the second thing is uh, mobility it's not the same thing as transportation. And I guess this is still, um, also there's a lot of discussion about this. Um, everybody agrees, okay, mobility, not the same thing as transportation, but as many of the, the speakers addressed from various uh, perspectives, um, still we have this, uh, this transport system driven by this mode perspective, and this is not mobility. This is a, a very fractured structure, and if we are talking about mobility, we are coming from the other side, we are coming from demand side, from the user, from the passenger, and this is what we have to include. I guess we all agree, and, and we discussed about this today. So um, there's a need to more emphasize and uh, to consider this uh, not only in discussion and in research, but in practice. Um, and this is uh, what is the main barrier today, that uh, the, the transport system is still working on this mode perspective, and it's not mobility which we would need to push. So um, besides this, um, a lot of questions came up, and I tried to, um, let's say, to simplify them on four points. So um, the question is, what about operators and authorities? Do they... Um, are they interested in these topics? And uh, yeah, maybe not yet, but we have to show them the benefits. And of course, there are many benefits, um, and they are not only financial in dollars or, or euros or whatever, but there are a lot of benefits. If we are coming to the second point, for example, we are talking about satisfaction of users, but satisfaction is not only about feeling comfortable. Um, it's also about... Uh, 
if you consider you ask the people um, as users of public transport, this is one thing, but what about the not yet users? So if we are talking about satisfaction of users, this is also about uh, providing benefits for new customers. And I guess this is a perspective public transport operators need to um, need to make their, their daily business. There's a lot of potential around and it's not only about um, satisfying people to feel much more comfortable, providing snacks and so on, but getting them on board to public transport. And this, uh, this is a huge market and which is, which is quite underdeveloped and I see there's a lot of potential and I guess we as researchers and, and everybody of you has a kind of duty and, and also possibility to bring this perspective in the daily business. Mm. The next point I would like to make is we, are, we were talking about infrastructure and we had also um, a little bit to struggle with the question, could we provide infrastructure and services for everybody? And of course, this is quite a, a difficult issue, but I would turn it the other way around and say it's not about uh, providing special infrastructure and services, and some of the speaker addressed this topic as well. It's about providing individualized use. Um, this may work on the given infrastructure with the given services, but you need uh, something to complete. For example, you need uh, people uh, supporting others. For example, you need information. You could combine this um, in an intelligent way. So it's more about individualizing uh, public transport. And this could be a real competitive advantage compared to the car. And um, this could, yeah. This could increase uh, not only attractiveness of the of the public transport, but get the people on board. And um, yeah, it's it's about thinking differently and planning differently. Um, then the last point, or open or yeah, contradictory question or whatever how you would call this, is this about satisfaction. Um, when I thought about uh, the different uh, issues we had today related to user satisfaction, comfortable, comfortable feeling and, and uh, services and everything, um, I had the feeling there's something which is uh, yeah, linking all these different aspects, uh, which might be something like reducing insecurity of people. It's about insecurity if my my service is available, if, the, if I get the... the uh, the next train, if I get home tonight, if I have something to eat if I'm hungry, um, if I manage to get into the train due to the, to the stairs we might have, things like this. And this is something which also came up in a, in a, um, in a talk, I, I don't remember who was it, but it was about the car, it's always there, and this is safety, this is uh, causing a feeling of safety. It's not only about freedom, but, but you feel safe, there's something you can rely on. And of course, this is something, maybe a, a kind of main principles, pr uh, public transport providers and also public authorities would need to address providing or reducing insecurity of the passenger. It's not only about, again, not only about feeling comfortable, luxury or something like this, but feeling, uh, yeah, feeling safe. And uh, what led me to uh, what Christopher um, mentioned in his presentation. So if we summarize all this, yeah, indeed, we, we seem to need uh, a moonshot and at least a first vision of a moonshot in, in the heads. And... Um, some aspects which could be leading to this were also mentioned in the talks today, uh, which were um, designing out of the box, going out of the given system, trying to create something new. Anyway, this is happen happening. Uh, Google is doing this and, and we should be fast. And it's also about um, marketing, which I would call also communication. Marketing, it's not only advertising, but it's also about communication with the people, getting input and giving input and uh, taking or considering what you get from the people. So um, I consider this as part of marketing or let's say um, marketing how it should be, especially in this case. So from this quite general findings where I try to give some, some key aspects out of the day-to-day. The -day. I would 
um, hand over to John, who's going to go more into detail and uh, elaborating his ideas on that, how to get to the moonshot. Thank you, Maria. It uh, was actually the moonshot which turned me on to this. Um, I noticed that during the day, throughout the day, eight different speakers I thought we're going to talk about what I was going to talk about because they just touched on marketing. Now, I'm just going to... This is the painful bit of the day, OK? After this, everything's easy. Imagine there are two things in this world. There are elements. Now, elements are things or people or ideas that you can see, hear, touch. And there are constructs. Constructs are the values that we use to describe the elements. So, fast and comfortable, on time, and so on, are the constructs. Notice I haven't said anything about how good or bad or yeah or whatever. It's the construct is the verbal label that defines how well or badly something does. That being the case, some people would give a journey top marks and some people would give it bottom marks. But there's another thing. These constructs are rated in terms of importance. Because let's give an example, somebody going on holiday, they don't care about their flight. What they care about is the quality of their holiday venue. So they're willing to um, put up with a little bit of discomfort. So they go Ryanair. But if it's somebody going on a major touring conference, um, he'd want to go British Airways club class or business class. And so it is with bus transport and pub other public transport. So according to the sample group that we have, according to the journey purpose, the constructs will have different importance. Hold that. Now, I want you to imagine we do MetPEX again only we don't do the public bit. That's all done, apart from measuring importance. But this time, we include politicians, authorities, operators, because they are people, all with construing systems, that are part of the system which we are trying to get METPEX into. And so, <coughs> when we come to sample the operator, He's uh, maybe been told to um, get a new ticket system in operation. And if he gets a new ticket system in operation and he does a, a validation survey on it, of course it comes out perfectly. Um, he says, yeah, I did well on that. Give me a bonus. He doesn't care about the customer's satisfaction. And if you go along and say, hey, Mr. Ticket, operator, I've got a fantastic survey here that'll tell you how satisfied your customers are. He says, so what? He's not interested. Now, I'm generalizing, I know. But it's important that we actually get the constructs that apply at all levels. So for groups such as us, we say, oh, no trouble getting importance and so on. That's easy. Politicians, no problem, they love it. Give them a result sheet, four or five key performance indicators, maybe derived from others beneath them, and uh, they're happy. Authorities, mm, well, I don't know, can't really be sure whether we want to share the key performance indicators with other companies. Mm, think about that. Operators, don't even want to know what the key performance indicators are, by and large. 
So that's what we want to do with Metpex. Do it again, but this time bring in the authorities, bring in the politicians. And if we've got operators who are not concerned with the satisfaction level of the customer, then the operators need to know why it's important. They need incentivizing, as um, Joanna uh, said. Um, and, sorry. Um, yeah, the operators need incentivizing, and then we stand a chance of bringing in the surveys that we want. Um, it takes about five years for construct importance to change. So you don't have to do it very often. Just do it once. And the, um, <clears throat> I know from other work, uh, we did some construct research um, many years ago, but the constructs were pretty constant uh, over time and over, <clears throat> over country. So you don't even have to do the measurements in every country. So that's the vision, and that's where we think we have two projects which we'd like to do in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mary and John, for the interesting closing remarks. As we are now closing the conference, I would inform you that all the presentations of uh, this uh, very interesting uh, day will be uploaded in the MedPEX website, uh, www.medpex.eu, uh, where you will also find the videos of the day. And uh, at this point, I would like to thank you all uh, honestly and really, it was a very interesting conference that uh, your participation made it very interesting with the presentation and uh, all these uh, important questions that uh, we discussed today. And I hope that we fulfilled your expectation and we will stimulate uh, all this further dialogue with stakeholders and uh, in this uh, vision of uh, having an integrated uh, passenger experience in public transport. Thank you all.